The world is full with incredible man-made historical places and wonders. We've created some pretty remarkable things, over thousands of years of human history, even if not all of it has survived to the present day. Let's have a look at the best historical landmarks from across the world in this video. Ephesus is remains of an ancient Ionian Greek city near the current hamlet of Seleuk in western Turkey. It was the location of the Temple of Artemis, which was located south of the Kayster River. Ephesus was one of the twelve Ionian cities and was active in the Persian and Peloponnesian Wars. It was traditionally established by the Carians and was conquered by Alexander the Great in 333 BC and flourished throughout the Hellenistic era. It was surrendered to Rome in 133 BC and became the capital of the Roman province of Asia under Emperor Augustus. Ephesus was an early Christian center that St. Paul visited, the letter to the Ephesians was addressed to the church there. In AD 262, the Goths destroyed the city and temple, and neither was ever rebuilt. The present site has thoroughly excavated remains. Chichen Itza is an ancient abandoned Mayan city in the Mexican state of Yucatan. Chichen Itza was constructed about the 6th century AD by the Maya in an arid location where water was gathered from natural wells known as cenotes. In the 10th century, the city was conquered, most likely by a Mayan-speaking population with significant Toltec influences, and the conquerors built a new set of structures, including the iconic stepped pyramid known as El Castillo and a ball court. The location remained holy to the Maya people even after it had been mostly abandoned by the time the Spanish arrived in the 16th century. In 1988, it was named a World Heritage Site. Pompeii is an ancient city located in southern Italy, southeast of Naples. Pompeii was founded in the 6th century BC or earlier by Oscan-speaking ancestors of the Neolithic people of Campania, and it was afterwards conquered by the Samnites, an Italic tribe, in the late 5th century BC. By 80 BC, the city had formed an alliance with Rome and had been colonized. It was devastated by an earthquake in AD 63 and ultimately destroyed by Mount Vesuvius eruption in AD 79. For years, volcanic material covered the village and safeguarded the ruins. Beginning in 1748, archaeological digs discovered much of the city, including forums, temples, baths, theaters, and hundreds of private dwellings. The Alamo was an 18th-century Franciscan mission in San Antonio in Texas. It was the center of a historic resistance effort by a small number of resolute rebels for Texan independence from Mexico in 1836. The architecture was originally the chapel of the Franciscan mission San Antonio de Valero, which was established between 1716 and 1718. The mission had been abandoned by the end of the century, and the structures had fallen into disrepair.
After 1801 the church was occasionally seized by Spanish forces. Because of the cottonwood grove in which it stood, the ancient chapel became popularly known as the Alamo during that period of time. The Eiffel Tower is a Parisian icon that is also a technological marvel in the history of building construction. When the French government was planning the International Exposition of 1889, to honor the centennial of the French Revolution, a design competition for a suitable monument was organized. More than 100 proposals were received, and the Centennial Committee chose the design of famed bridge engineer Gustave Eiffel. Eiffel's vision of a 300-meter skyscraper made nearly, completely of open lattice wrought iron inspired awe, skepticism, and some aesthetic resistance. When built, the tower served as the exposition's main entrance. The tower has a 5-meter high base and a television antenna atop it, giving it a total elevation of 324 meters. The Westminster Palace is located in the London Borough of Westminster on the left side of the River Thames. A royal palace was supposed to have been on the location during the reign of Canute, the Danish monarch of England. The structure was created in the 11th century for Edward the Confessor and afterwards expanded by William I. The whole palace was destroyed by fire in 1834, with the exception of the renowned Westminster Hall. The current structures were designed in the Gothic Revival style by Sir Charles Barry. Construction began in 1837, the cornerstone was placed in 1840, and the building was completed in 1860. The Commons Chamber was destroyed during one of the several air attacks on London during World War II, but it was rebuilt and reopened in 1950. The Hagia Sophia, Istanbul's Byzantine architecture is regarded as one of the world's greatest structures. It was built as a church, then a mosque, then a museum, and now back to a mosque. It is a work of art in Byzantine architecture. The original structure, designed by Anthemius of Trolleys and Isidorus of Miletus, during Justinian I's reign, was finished in less than six years. It combined a longitudinal basilica with a centered construction in a very unique way, with a massive main dome. It was restored in 563 that is supported by pendentives and semi-domes on each side. Three aisles are divided by columns, with galleries above and massive marble piers rising up to support the dome. The walls above the galleries, as well as the base of the dome, are perforated with windows. The light from which obscures the supports, and gives the sense that the canopy floats on air. The building's exquisite mosaics are regarded by art historians, as the primary source of information on the level of mosaic art towards the end of the iconoclastic controversy in the 8th and 9th centuries.
Stonehenge is a monumental circular arrangement of ancient standing stones in Salisbury, Wiltshire, England. The stones are thought to have been placed in three major episodes between 3100 and 1550 BC. The motivations for Stonehenge's construction are unknown, but it is thought to have been a place of devotion and ceremony. Many suggestions have been offered as to its precise function, for example, eclipse prediction, but none have been proven. Stones constructed during the second phase of building, about 2100 BC, were aligned with the summer solstice dawn, implying a ceremonial link with that event. The Giza pyramids were built on a rocky plateau on the west bank of the Nile River at al Ja in northern Egypt. They were formerly considered one of the seven wonders of the world. The Memphis area's ancient remains, notably the Pyramids of Giza, were named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. The Great Pyramid is the only one of the world's seven wonders that is still standing today. It is a wonder because of its magnitude and the extraordinary accuracy with which the construction was accomplished. It is maybe the biggest single edifice ever erected. It is said to be Khufu's last resting place, although only an empty sarcophagus has been discovered within. The pyramid was initially 482 feet tall, with four equal sides spanning 755 feet each. The Taj Mahal is a mausoleum complex located on the southern bank of the Yamuna River, just outside of Agra in India. It was erected in remembrance of Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan's wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who died in 1631. The Taj Mahal construction began in 1632, took 22 years to finish. A square garden space in the center is surrounded by two smaller, oblong parts, one of which houses the mausoleum and the other an entry gateway. The pure white marble tomb is bordered by two red sandstone structures. A mosque on one side and an identical building for aesthetic balance on the other. It is elevated on a marble pedestal with a minaret at each corner. It comprises four similar facades, each with a 108-foot-high central arch capped by a bulbous double dome and four domed kiosks. Its interior, with exquisite, controlled stone design, revolves around an octagonal chamber holding the marble graves, which is surrounded by a perforated marble screen and sarcophagi below. It was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983 and is regarded as one of the world's most magnificent structures. Since the late 1990s, efforts have been made to mitigate air pollution, which has harmed the building's front. The Great Wall of China, also known as the Chinese Wanli Changcheng, is a defensive wall in northern China. It is one of the greatest building projects ever undertaken, stretching around 4,500 miles east to west from the Bohai to a location deep in Central Asia. Large portions of the fortress date from the 7th to 4th centuries BCE. Emperor Shuangdi unified existing defensive walls into a single system guarded by watchtowers in the 3rd century BCE. These were used to protect the rampart as well as communicate with the capital Xianyang. 
by signal smoke during the day and fire at night. It was originally made of masonry and dirt, but the eastern portion was coated with brick. It was renovated subsequently, particularly in the 15th and 16th centuries. The base wall is around 23 to 26 feet high, with towers rising above it to varied heights at intervals. In 1987, it was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Angkor Wat is the crowning accomplishment of Khmer architecture and is a temple complex at Angkor in northern Cambodia. It is the world's biggest religious edifice, measuring around 1,700 yards long and 1,500 yards broad. Suryavarman II erected it in the 12th century and dedicated it to Lord Vishnu. The Wat, a man-made mountain enclosed by a massive exterior wall and moat, rises in three enclosures to a flat peak. The five remaining towers at the peak are built in the repeating declining levels that are characteristic of Asian design. The Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, was a massive amphitheater erected in Rome during the reign of the Flavian emperors. During Vespasian's rule, construction on the Colosseum began between 70 and 72 CE. It is situated in the grounds of Nero's Golden House, directly east of the Palatine Hill. The artificial lake at the heart of that royal complex was drained, and the Colosseum was built there instead, a choice that was symbolic as well as practical. Vespasian, who rose from modest origins to the throne, elected to replace the previous emperor's private lake with a public amphitheater that could seat tens of thousands of Romans. Titus officially dedicated the edifice in 80 CE during a ceremony that spanned 100 days of games. Domitian finished the building in 82 CE by constructing the highest floor. Unlike earlier amphitheaters, which were virtually all cut into suitable hillsides for added support, the Colosseum is a freestanding stone and concrete building with a complex system of barrel vaults and groin vaults. That measures 620 by 513 feet in total. Three of the arena's stories are surrounded by arcades framed on the outside, by engaged columns in the Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian orders. The increasing arrangement of columns in the construction provided the basis of the Renaissance codification known as the assemblage of orders. Travertin is used for the primary structural framework and facade, volcanic tufa for the subsidiary walls, and concrete for the inner bowl and arcade vaults. Life-size terracotta figurines were discovered near Xi'an in Shangxi province of China, in the tomb of the first Qin emperor, the Qin Shi Huang. The buried army stands prepared for fight around three quarters of a mile from the tomb's outer wall, defending it from Qin Shi Huang's main old foes who had arrived from that way. The Terracotta Army's tomb was discovered in March 1974, when farmers constructing a well uncovered an underground chamber. Archaeologists later discovered an army of 8,000 life-size terracotta soldiers and horses there. 
Along with the terracotta army were elaborately ornamented chariots of wood and bronze, iron agricultural equipment, bronze and leather bridles, silk, linen, jade, and bone goods, and weaponry like as bows and arrows, spears, and swords made from a rare 13-element alloy that are still shining and sharp today, were found. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a medieval monument in the city of Pisa in Italy, which known for the shifting of its foundations, which led it to lean 5.5 degrees from vertical in the late 20th century. The Bell Tower, erected in 1173 as the third and last part of the city's cathedral complex, was built of white marble and was 185 feet tall. When the unequal sinking of the building's foundations in the soft ground became apparent, three of its eight floors had been constructed. War broke out between the Italian city-states at the period, and development was suspended for about a century. When building restarted, Giovanni di Simone, the engineer in command, attempted to compensate for the lean by making the new stories slightly higher on the short side, but the extra masonry caused the structure to sink even lower. However, during the early 20th century, the heavier bells had been muffled since it was thought that their movement may increase the tower's lean. The lean was reduced by 17 inches after earth was drained from beneath the foundations. The repair was finished in May 2001, and the tower reopened to tourists. The tower continued to straighten without additional excavation until sensors revealed that the motion had finally ceased in May 2008. Engineers predicted that the tower will be sturdy for at least 200 years. Easter Island, also known as Isla de Pascua in Spanish, is an island in the eastern Pacific Ocean. It is located 2,200 miles west of Chile and has an area of 163 square kilometers. Easter Island has long been known for its monolithic stone statues in human shape, which were first inhabited around AD 400 by Polynesians from the Marquesas. They range in height from 10 to 40 feet, with the biggest weighing around 82 tons. They were most likely built between AD 1000 and 1600. Over the years that followed, war and illness devastated the island's people, and the origins of the sculptures were lost. The island was annexed by Chile in 1888 and was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1995. The best-known Acropolis is that of Athens, which was erected in the second part of the 5th century BC. The Athenian Acropolis, erected on a rugged, fortified hill, was created as a residence for Athena, the city's patron goddess. The site Dal contains of, the Propylia, the doorway to the holy precinct, the Parthenon, the principal temple to Athena and also the treasury of the Delian League and the Erechtheum, a shrine to the agricultural goddesses, particularly Erechthonius. And the Temple of Athena Nike, an architectural representation of the concord with which the Dorian and Ionian peoples lived under Athens' rule. After 338 BC, Athens fell under Macedonia's dominion, which was broken with the help of Rome in a fight at Sinocephaly in 197 BC. The Crusaders conquered Athens in the 13th century. The Ottoman Turks captured it in 1456 and controlled it until 1833, when it was named the capital of independent Greece.
Athens is the country's main commercial and commerce center. The ruins and several museums in the city make it a popular tourist attraction. The Forbidden City is the Imperial Palace Complex in Beijing, which consists of hundreds of structures and around 9,000 rooms. From 1421 through 1911, it served the Chinese emperors. Without specific authorization, no commoner or foreigner was permitted to enter. The moated palaces are enclosed by high walls with a tower on each corner and have golden tiled roofs and scarlet pillars. The palaces are made up of two parts, the outer throne halls and an interior courtyard, with each palace creating an architectural complete. A large courtyard is beyond five marble bridges north of the front entrance. The vast, double-tiered Hall of Supreme Harmony, previously the throne hall and one of China's biggest wooden constructions, is placed on a marble terrace further north. The palaces and structures are now open to the public as museums. The Great Sphinx of Giza is a massive limestone statue of a reclining sphinx at Giza in Egypt that possibly dates from King Khafre's reign and shows his visage. It is undoubtedly the best-known example of sphinx art and one of Egypt's most iconic sites. The Great Sphinx is one of the world's biggest sculptures, at 240 feet tall and 66 feet long. It has a lion's body and a human head with a regal headpiece on it. The Great Sphinx was cut from a single block of limestone, and pigment residue indicates that the entire monument was painted. According to some estimations, it would have taken 100 workers three years to complete the statue using stone hammers and copper chisels. Most experts attribute ownership of the Great Sphinx to Khafre and date it to the 4th dynasty. Some say it was erected by Khafre's older brother Rejdef to honor their father, Khufu. According to some scholars, the Great Sphinx's face resembles Khufu more than Khafre, and this discovery has led to conjecture that the statue was created by Khufu himself. The Great Sphinx has deteriorated significantly over time, and many efforts to preserve the statue have been made from ancient times, possibly commencing during the reign of Thutmose IV. While the torso has been the most eroded, the face has also been injured, and its nose is noticeably gone. Some claim that Napoleon's men shot off the nose with a cannon, causing the damage. Legend holds that in the 14th century, Muhammad Sayyam al-Dar, a Sufi Muslim, damaged the monument to protest idolatry. Machu Picchu is an ancient Inca fortified city in the Andes Mountains in south-central Peru. It avoided notice by the Spaniards, perched near Cusco, in a small saddle between two high hills at an elevation of 7,710 feet. And its presence was finally revealed in 1911 by U.S. explorer Hiram Bingham. It is one of the few pre-Columbian urban centers found completely intact, covering about five square miles and included a temple and a fortress. The duration of occupation is unknown. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983 and is a popular tourist destination.
Petra is an Arabic bar and an historic city in southwest Jordan that was the center of an Arab monarchy in Hellenistic and Roman periods. The city was erected atop a terrace cut from east to west by the Wadi Ms, one of the spots where the Israelite commander Moses is said to have struck a rock and water burst forth. Because the valley is surrounded by sandstone rocks veined with red and purple ranging to light yellow. The 19th century English biblical scholar John William Bergen referred to Petra as a rose-red city half as ancient as time. The contemporary town of Wadi Ms, located next to the historic city, mostly feeds the regular stream of visitors that visit the site. The biblical word Selah was most likely substituted with the Greek name Petra. Paleolithic and Neolithic remains have been uncovered in Petra, and Edomites are thought to have lived there around 1200 BCE. Centuries later, an Arab tribe called the Nabataeans seized it and made it the capital of their country. The area was assaulted by Seleucid soldiers, but they were unable to conquer the city. Petra flourished under Nabataean dominion as a spice trading hub involving China, Egypt, Greece, and India, and the city's population grew to between 10,000 and 30,000 people.